I think there are a number of interesting opportunities and, and growth opportunities for banks to address at this point in time, even though it is a cha in general a challenging environment. And three top opportunities that I believe we have at this point in time are, number one, wealth management, where banks will need to identify strategies for creating a tighter relationship with wealthy consumers, and by doing so, increasing loyalty and driving cross-selling opportunities. Number two, would be generational strategies. That means identify strategies to uh, create and capture uh, the uh, Gen Y segment and also identify a differentiating approach for the baby boomer segment. And lastly, number three, an opportunity definitely exists in multi-channel management. And there the strategy needs to be, how do I identify a way to create more a consistent customer experience across different channels to market including branches, online, mobile, and contact centers. I think one very interesting technology trend that we see at this point in time is the increased use of video as an enabler to create a more intimate relationship with customers and ultimately drive towards more of a personalized virtual interaction with customers. If we look at consumers at this point in time, they're getting more and more demanding for services tailored to their own personal needs. And they really expect you to, as a bank, to address them with the tools that they use for everything else on a daily basis. So they want access to banking services anywhere, anytime, using any device that they prefer. And actually, a number of video solutions are available today for banks to address consumers both in branches, at their homes, and even over mobile devices. Cisco is providing many technology solutions to the banking industry that typically reside in either different types of collaboration solutions data center virtualization solutions, and frankly also identifying the right type of network infrastructure so that banks can provide uh, secure banking services anywhere, anytime, during any device. But if I really have to select just one, I think one of the recent uh, announcements Cisco made of Cisco Yumi is a good example. It's a solution that consumers can use to access banks when they're at their home using a high-quality video solution that they attach to their, to their TV set. I think that from a customer perspective, the value add with this type of solution is that you can have much more frequent interactions with, with your bank, and frankly, more high-quality interactions as well, as you can use this solution to tap into and work with your financial advisor on an ongoing basis. And if you look at it from a bank's perspective, this creates a great opportunity to uh, identify and, and really tap into the loyalty of your customers and ultimately to drive cross-selling opportunities. Well, I think that we are seeing now technology may having so much impact on different industries. And if you look at retail companies in particular, I would say that banks are typically lagging them in terms of the use of virtual experts in stores. That's one area where retail banks can, can learn from what uh, retail companies are doing. I think also in, in the manufacturing space, there are manufacturing companies that are taking the lead in terms of new approaches to virtual project management, where they can have project team members from anywhere around the globe interact together in a joint project and use leading edge technology like telepresence tailored to that type of, of environment. So there are a couple, couple of things that uh, retail banks can learn from other industries. I think Gen Y is very interesting because they were brought up with internet. They were brought up with mobile phones, with social media, with interactive games. And that type of segment will net, definitely not settle with a traditional approach to banking. So uh, we actually did a survey recently with over a thousand consumers in the US. And we identified based on that survey that 37% of the Gen Y consumers 
are in desperate need of support in defining their new financial, or the, really the, the financial um, uh, future that, that, they, that they require. And they want banks to be the trusted provider of that type of service. And 25% of them were actually willing to change banks to the bank that they perceived to be best at tailoring advice to their personal needs. So for banks to really succeed with the Gen Y segment, we require them to relook their approach to personal financial management tools, to relook their approach to video, and also to relook the approach they take to creating and orchestrating financial communities of interest.